Mauna Loa Lava Study Confirms Geologists' Early Warnings of Eruption Two years after Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano erupted in November 2022, scientists have validated their early warnings of the event. A new study analyzing the chemical makeup of the lava confirms the timeline geologists had predicted based on early warning signs. In the months before the eruption, geologists detected increased earthquake activity and swelling of the ground near Mauna Loa. These signals indicated that magma was moving up through the Earth's crust, building up pressure beneath the volcano. Researchers from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, led by geologist Kendra Lin, studied crystals in the lava to better understand the process. Their findings revealed that large amounts of molten rock began rising from deep within the Earth about 70 days before the eruption. The molten rock, which was initially located 3 to 5 kilometers below the summit, moved closer to the surface and stopped just 2 kilometers below. Once the pressure became too great, the magma broke through the surface and turned into a river of lava. The findings published in Nature Communications are consistent with earlier timelines predicted by geologists using external signs such as earthquakes and ground shift. Scientists stress that it's still impossible to predict the exact timing of a volcanic eruption. However, geologists can make forecasts based on patterns and data. Ben Andrews, head of the Smithsonian Institution's Global Volcano Program, likens these forecasts to weather forecasts, noting that they rely on probabilities, not certainties. For Mauna Loa, understanding its magma reservoir is a crucial step in improving these forecasts. The researchers hope that by studying similar patterns in the future, they can give residents of Hawaii's Big Island more advanced warning of a potential eruption, extending the forecast from minutes to months. Mauna Loa's 2022 eruption was its first since 1984, but Hawaii is home to several active volcanoes. The U.S. Geological Survey tracks active volcanoes across the country, with the majority located in Hawaii, Alaska, and along the West Coast. Globally, about 585 volcanoes are considered active. Volcanologist Eric Clemetti Gonzalez explains that volcanoes are difficult to study because scientists can't directly observe their internal activity. Instead, they rely on indirect clues like ground motion, earthquakes, and chemical analysis of lava. These tools, combined with better historical data, can help scientists anticipate future eruptions with greater accuracy. The new study underscores the importance of continued volcanic research, revealing that even well-studied areas like Hawaii continue to hold surprises for scientists.